Warning. This project is very dangerous. Proceed under your own risk. Electrical and electronics devices using AC are very dangerous. Even after you unplug them, capacitors still hold dangerous amounts of electricity that can cause heart attacks, burns or vents or dent death. Please take extreme precautions when handling capacitors and AC devices. Today we are going to modify a computer's power supply and turn it into a bench power supply. This power supply used to be in an Apple computer, a Power Mac U4 that I used some time ago for experiments. I will leave you the link to the video in here. The power supply is rated at 400 watts and it was made by Samsung. As you can see, it seems like the power supply was taken out from a server because it is very big and very well constructed. I'm going to start by removing the excess wires like those that power the CD, the hard drive, and things like that. Is this group of yellow, red, and black wires. This power supply has the following outputs. 3.3 volts in the orange wires, 5 volts in the red ones, 12 volts in the yellow ones, minus 12 volts in the blue one, 25 volts in the white wire, and the purple one is for the standby signal. It carries 5 volts while the power supply is off. The green wire is the power supply switch. If you put it to ground, uh, if you put it to a, a black wire, it's going to turn on the power supply. And if you unplug it from the black one, it's going to turn off the power supply. And finally, the black ones are the ground, the negative or the return wires. I'm not going to cut the excess wires instead I will use the soldering iron in order to remove them from the base since the 12 volt 5 volts and 3.3 volts handle a lot of current I will use a group of three wires in order to connect it to the terminals I will add some universal connectors to the chassis in order to connect the wires and leave the terminal exposed to the outside so I can plug anything I want on the outside of the power supply. Once the connectors are in place, we need to test for short circuits before we can proceed to the next step. If we are sure that there is no short circuits or loose terminals, we can proceed to close the unit. Never operate that unit with, without the cover because it is very dangerous. Quick note, if you want a variable output, you can add this little device called a step up converter or boost converter. It connects to 12 volts and it can have an output from 5 volts up to 30 or 60 volts depending on the device you just brought. Once the cover is closed and secure, let's proceed to test it. First, plug the unit into the AC, then press the switch button to turn it on. Test the terminal for the 12 volts, 5, 3.3, 25, and the minus 12. Make sure the power supply is working properly. The minus 12 is important because most of audio applications uses positive and negative voltage like the up and or the push-pull configuration amplifiers. And by negative I don't mean ground or zero, I mean an amount of voltage in the negative zone. In other words, the amount of volts from the positive 12 volts to the minus 12 volts should be 24 volts. Well, thank you very much for watching my videos.